there one chat room that you particularly favour over the others? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> What's it called? Beauty's Castle. <laughs> Beauty's Castle. And so everyone will start visiting it now. It'll yeah. be ruined. <laughs> so what was it about Beauty's Castle that drew you in? It was like a castle. Yeah. <laughs> Um, and, and, and it was just, there was an element of romance and, and, and mysticism. Mm. It, was, it was like a bygone age of... of <laughs> <laughs> it had a pub and everything. A, a, a pub in the castle? It had a pub, a hot bath, a bedroom, a courtyard, yeah. a corridor. But I never went down there because that was like all S&M. <laughs> um, <laughs> And a turret. A turret? What happened a in a turret? turret? Well, you know, if you got really angry with someone in the bar, but you were chatting someone up, you could go, I'm off to the turret. <laughs> you type I, that in? I can't stand Tiger no more. He's doing my head in. <laughs> if you think anything of me, I'll be in the turret. <laughs> I only went to the turret twice, but I was really angry. But I'd been drinking for real. <laughs> It's a sad moment when you're actually going, I'd better leave this pub cos I am just so gonna kick off. <laughs> so I'm, I'm gonna trash <laughs> inanimate subjects that don't even exist. <laughs> I don't want to break the ashtray, but I'm going to. <laughs> I've gone mad. I've actually... I've gone into the bar and there's no one in there. And I, I've, I've, I've typed up two pages going, I'm running this place now, there's going to be changes. <laughs> <laughs> and then I went up one night, absolutely this. I put up a dartboard and everything. I installed Guinness. <laughs> and out of all this typing, one message come up going, Johnny, are you feeling all right? <laughs> and you're going, obviously not. <laughs> I'm running a pub on the internet. <laughs> I'm cancelling meetings because I've got to meet the bloke from the blue of it. <laughs> to discuss the fact that I know Guinness isn't on your books. <laughs> I'm going freehold. What's the longest you've ever spent on it in one go? Really? Yeah. About 20 hours. No. <laughs> Do you go in under a name, under a pseudonym? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> What's, what is that? Unabashed. <laughs> Unabashed. I thought originally it, it summed up this kind of he's quite cocky yet romantic. <laughs> the only one I knew I had to pull away was one guy like, hey, unabashed, you really know your drinks. <laughs> <laughs> and I was sat there thinking, I'm gonna wet myself, I need to go to the loo. <laughs> But I'm so ingratiated by this compliment, I might stay. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sat here doused in piss, but thank you. <laughs> I'm drinking a very fine Merlot right now. That sounds it, like it was... that could be another name for somebody, doused in piss. <laughs> yeah, but you would actually get someone else, you know, called, um, you know, Undowser, who would suddenly come up and go, hey, like the way your legs smell. <laughs> There's some, I mean, in that environment, there's someone for everyone. There was one girl I met, she was really special. <laughs> I've been on a virtual picnic. <laughs> there's, there's a virtual... She actually complimented me on the sandwiches. <laughs> what, what, what's That's her name? Stop. Jezebel. <laughs> Jezebel and unabashed. I can see that on the in front of a Ford Cortina. Um, well, OK, now imagine that Jezebel might be watching this show somewhere, if she's ever over here. So if you want to do a, a, a piece in the camera too, though, just to sort of see how you really feel about Jezebel. Maybe this is your chance just to sort of, you know, here you are in, in person, just to put into words what you really feel outside of the confines of Beauty's Castle. <laughs> Jezebel, it's, it's me on the bash. I never lied. Um, my glands went wrong. <laughs> they just packed in. 
maybe it was the excitement, maybe it was, I don't know, but if you, if, if, you know, if we can both find our way to leaving the front door <laughs> and meeting up, you know, there's real food out there <laughs> and, there's a, and there's a life for us. My name's Johnny and I like to live a lie, <laughs> but then aren't most marriages shams? Aren't we truly the honest ones? <laughs> I don't know what to do. I, I don't know if I can... If I put this in, then it'll disappear for you. Oh, right. If you don't put it again, if you don't put it in, there's, there's a moral... Everything I've done tonight, I know they're not vastly popular choices, but I really thought long and hard. I initially just wanted to spend the whole show putting Ollie Oaks in, and I didn't. <laughs> I, I thought outside of that. Why don't you like Ollie Oaks? Because he's crap. <laughs> <laughs> What am I going to do with this? I want them out of my life. You do? Yes! All right, in he goes. Yes! <laughs> OK, Johnny, your next choice is in the cupboard behind you there, if you'd like to dig it out. Let's have a look at this one. Oh, ho, 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 ho. <laughs> Jackets <laughs> for wine bottles. <laughs> <laughs> Very elegant. <laughs> in the right mind, thought that would lend some class. I think it's... What, what, what's wrong with that? What's, what's wrong with it? What, what if, as an up-and-coming, you know, I, I enjoy my wine. I've, yeah. I've got into my wine. I'm, I'm no waste. I don't drink it now because I get to my dehydrated after four bottles, but... It... <laughs> you learn about wine. Imagining meeting other people who like wine. Yeah. Thinking, this is great. There's people who I enjoy the same interests with. And you walk past the shop and you see that and you think, they're going to love this. <laughs> Let's have a look. We've got some of us here. No, these are absolutely genuine. This is, uh, this is the one that goes with it. This is a sort of... <laughs> that's the bride. There we are, sort of bride and groom. Well, what about that one? Do you fancy that? No, that one's quite classy. That, that's... Oh, so yeah. <laughs> that's, yeah, but that's a drink for perverts, isn't it? I hope you don't mind me taking your hand off. <laughs> Look at him. You're so indifferent. So, so you say... Stand up for that if you love her. <laughs> oh, he's, he's dropped his cake. That's all right. There may be trouble. <laughs> Not even he's <laughs> All right. Let's try this one then. What do we think of this one? There you are. That's the sort of Ainsley now, Harriet. Now that I would. <laughs> that I would drink. No, I, no, if that's ain't loud, it needs to be there hugging her far too close, doesn't it? <laughs> okay, well, let's what see. are you cooking there, darling? <laughs> I'll see you later. All right, well, what about this one? Here we are. The sort of rabbi. <laughs> now, that works. That works? <laughs> that works. That one does. You can use it to coax yourself out of chat rooms. Yeah. Well, you know, just by going, who needs a chat room when I've got you? You get to get it. <laughs> By the time you've drunk that, you've got a little friend at the end that you can play with. Yeah, yeah. Um, this is my favourite one. This is a move on from sort of uh, uh, wine bottles. This is the, the French maid you stick over your cleaner. <laughs> this is <laughs> quite genuine. If you haven't got the space to store your vacuum cleaner, why not disguise it with this French maid cover? <laughs> so people think you haven't got a vacuum cleaner, but you've stuck a French maid in the corner of the room. <laughs> it's only 16 99 I've got a brother that would sleep with her and not mention that she had... <laughs> She had a plug coming out of her ass. <laughs> would he put it on suck or blow? <laughs> the choice would be his. <laughs> well, I think as you've demonstrated, these are charming items and we can't possibly put them into room oh, 101. No, yeah, no, they're not no. going in. So you'll have to take those two and I'll put these two back in this drawer and you All put right, those two okay, in there. Then. You can yeah. take those away with you. You can have them. <laughs> All of you, I do. <laughs> Oh, they're going to love this in the pub. <laughs> <laughs> Let's have a look at your final choice. Here we are. This isn't a uh, sort of mad axeman. This is, uh, well, you tell me what that is. Novelty boxer shorts. Novelty boxer shorts. What's wrong with novelty boxer shorts? Everything. Uh, no, actually, not j boxer shorts are the biggest crime, but anything novelty where shops do this thing of will make it wacky. What they do is they coax your mum into buying stuff at Christmas mm -hmm. thinking it'll make you smile and, and thinking that you, you, you're going to wear this for a laugh. And what did your mum buy you for Christmas this year? Lord of Croft boxer shorts. <laughs> they weren't even boxer shorts, they were clingy. 
Mm -hmm. So she looked deformed. <laughs> she had really good legs in the way you pull them on. And then from there, it was like, oh, Lara, you've let yourself go. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, Laura Croft, I mean, is Tomb Raider something you want across the front of your boxer shorts? Exactly. Yeah, especially when you spend the whole night going, you know, in a romantic situation. Exactly. The last thing you want to happen is where you go, I love you, I love you, you're the only one for me. Oh, look! <laughs> Tomb Raider, then up comes... A computer-simulated perfect woman <laughs> just sitting on my leg near me, will I? <laughs> Ignore her and come to bed. Have you seen that there's a Doctor Who TARDIS uh, pants? They're much bigger inside than they look on the outside. <laughs> um, what would you have liked for Christmas? And anything. It's not actually that she got them. Oh, no, it does. It bugs me, and I'm sorry, Mum, but it does. <laughs> but, you know, Christmas Day should be about love, joy and honesty. And I have to hide it, and I have to kind of go, thank you. <laughs> this is a sign that you love me. <laughs> So my do you wear out, them? My mum goes out and cleans. Mm -hmm. And then my mum cleans. I don't want her scrubbing a step just to have Lord of Croft mm. sat near me knob. Mm. It's, uh, <laughs> guys with the ties, this daffy duck on a tie. Yeah. Why? <laughs> what deal was swung by a guy turning up going, <laughs> look at me. <laughs> But the paperwork's done, but look, I'm still This is to smiling. indicate that people have got individuality. I, this is what they think, I think. I think it shows that an easy way of showing you've got a sense of humour is to wear some kind of, you know, a wacky tie or, or wacky braces. Let's have a look. We've got a couple no, of... No, uh... but if they want to show they've got a sense of humour, yeah. get them drunk on a Sunday and shave their head. Mm. <laughs> Let them go into work totally different going, you'll never guess what happened. And they wax my eyebrows. Well, it's, it's not just boxer shorts that come in novelty forms. We've got a, a sort of... Posing pouch with a monkey. We oh, have a look the at those. monkey reference. Yeah, have a look at those. Well, I don't know, that's just something that we bought. <laughs> Depending how big you are. Yeah. The, the more kind of intense it looks. <laughs> it sobers up the more you get erect. Have a look at that one. See what you reckon of that. Pass me that one back. Have a look at that one. If I ever have a breakdown, I want to be found in the zoo. <laughs> Wearing that. Put him out with that, going, he's lost his mother. <laughs> Don't feed him. <laughs> what about these ones? Oh. <laughs> Beauty's you, castle. You give good gifts. <laughs> well, you could be wearing those tonight. I, well, yeah, the pub would run amok. <laughs> <laughs> Obviously, they would be there just for when I lured an employee upstairs. <laughs> they also do a G-string in your size. <laughs> the drawbridge is down tonight. Can I, can I, can I seriously keep these? But, I mean, if you put them into room 101, then obviously you can't keep them. Um, yeah, but they're they tacky. Don't... That's really tastefully done. <laughs> A bit of calligraphy. Well, I think that, colouring wise, that makes VD look acceptable. Yeah. <laughs> that suggests mystery. <laughs> well, I think we should be more upfront about our pants, really, and get them out into the open, I think. I think there's a certain, you know, then if we, we can all see, that might knock novelty pants on the head if, if everybody has to wear their pants on the outside. I've got the ultimate pair here. Um, there's a lovely sort of pair of uh, novelty boxer shorts there. I'll do a deal with you. If you put those on, and I'll put on my pair, right, OK, and if we do a little special dance with our novelty pants on, then I will put them into room 101. It's worth the sacrifice. They've got to go in. You'll be missed. They'll be missed. <laughs> OK, all right, novelty pants are going into room 101. Bye-bye. Yes. These are top of the range, nobody pants. Let's have a bit of fun and let's party!